Hey, what's up? Tyson France here from MotionRevolver.com with a quick tutorial. Uh, I was thinking back on some of the very first things that I learned when I be uh, when I first became a motion graphics designer uh, when I was an intern many years ago, and uh, I think one of the very first things I taught myself inside of After Effects was how to create a seamless loop. Um, if you have a piece of footage like a piece of video or a graphic that isn't currently looping and you need it to seamlessly loop uh, over time um, that was one thing that I needed to teach myself so what I have here is uh, a piece of footage which uh, you can actually download from motionrevolver.com just go to uh, motionrevolver.com in the freebies section and uh, this is actually November's free download um, there's also some other stuff, some After Effects files and Cinema 4D files and uh, graphics and stuff like that. Uh, and we have a new free file every month, so if you like free stuff, be sure to check back every month for the new project. We normally upload uh, the new freebie somewhere around the first of every month, so uh, be sure to check back for those. Anyway, back to our looping animation. So. I've imported this video clip and I have placed it into a composition called main video. And I have this pre-rendered, so uh, I'm going to show you what the animation actually looks like, or the uh, motion of, of the video, I should say. And this is a 15 second long clip, and uh, we're going to see here at the end of the timeline, which is getting to right now, there's going to be a jump. So watch the video. You see how the video jumps right at the end of the animation there. So if we wanted that to be a seamless transition so that the video constantly loops without you noticing where the beginning and end is, see the jump again right there, we're going to have to make this loop seamlessly. So how do we do that? All right, well, the easiest way that I do it is I take the clip and whatever the halfway point is, uh, in this case, since this is a 15 second long clip, at uh, uh, seven and a half seconds, we're going to split that clip in half by hitting Command Shift D on our keyboard. So we split the clip at the playhead. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this top layer, which um, the beginning point is now the middle of the video. And we're going to slide that to the beginning of our composition. So now what happened is the beginning of our video is actually the very middle of our clip. We're going to take the bottom clip and move that back to the end of the composition. So now when we're at the beginning of our composition and I hit the end key on the keyboard to go to the very end of the comp, we are at essentially the very beginning and end of this loop. But now we still have a bit of a jump in the middle. So that didn't solve our problem. So what we're going to have to do is create a bit of overlap right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this bottom layer back to say about one second uh, into this top layer. So at six and a half seconds, I'm going to bring this bottom layer back to there. And I'm going to go to this top layer, and I'm going to hit the T key on the keyboard to show the, the uh, opacity attribute. I'm going to set a keyframe there. I'm going to go to the end of the layer, and I'm going to change the opacity to zero. So this top layer smoothly and slowly fades out to reveal the bottom layer. And uh, I may even want to put an ease on that by right clicking on the keyframe go to keyframe assistant and easy ease out to kind of give it a little bit smoother of a transition all right and then uh, what we have to do now is since we brought this layer back our composition is now one second shorter so we're gonna have to change the duration of our composition to 14 seconds okay so now what we have is a smooth fade in the middle, which is barely even noticeable, uh, noticeable to the eye. Um, and then the very end of our clip and the very beginning of our clip should loop seamlessly. So I'm going to pre-render this, and we're going to see what we have. So when the playhead gets to the end of the composition, 
we shouldn't notice any jump at all in our animation. So wait for it, here it comes, back to the beginning, and you didn't even notice a jump in the video. And then right here we have our transition, barely even notice the uh, wipe, the um, opacity wipe there. Then right at the end, we go to the beginning, and we have a seamless loop. And again, most people wouldn't even notice that there's a transition right there in the middle. Of course, depending on what kind of footage you have, what kind of clip you have, uh, the transition might be a little bit more noticeable. But this is the fastest and easiest way to create a seamless loop inside of After Effects. So what you can now do is render this composition out as its own self-sustained QuickTime, and uh, you now have a looping animation. So if you needed a background for something that uh, you needed to loop through um, infinity, if, if uh, you needed it to loop over and over and over again throughout time, you now have a animation file or a video clip that will do that for you. What if you have a graphic though, if you're not working with video? Let's say, I'm just gonna create a new comp here and uh, I'm going to name it particles because I'm gonna use I'm gonna actually make this uh, 15 seconds. Um, I'm actually just gonna use, create a new solid here, make it a black solid. I'm gonna use uh, trap code particular here for this uh, uh, demonstration. And uh, okay, so we have some particles and uh, I'm just gonna set some in and out points and uh, all right, we're gonna pre-render this, and we're gonna see that what we have is not a looping animation. So once again, we'll wait until our playhead gets to the end of our animation, and once it goes back to the beginning, you're gonna notice a jump right here. So you see that jump in the animation. How do we get that to be more of a smooth animation so that we don't notice the jump? Well, uh, same process, really. So what we're going to have to do is pre-compose this layer. And uh, I'm doing this to illustrate that you could do, do this, uh, this uh, loop technique with either video footage layers or composition. So I'm going to pre-compose this and name it Particular. Okay. Oh, actually, I have to uh, move all attributes. Okay, and now we have a 15 second self contained pre composition. And again, same deal. We're going to go to the very middle point of our animation. We're going to split the clip, Command Shift D. And then we're going to move the beginning of this top layer to the very beginning and the end of the bottom layer to the end. I'll do that again so you can see I'll just slide it. All right. And again, we have to create a, a transition. So I'm going to move this back to have one second of overlap, change the duration of the comp to 14 seconds. And of course, uh, now we're going to have to animate the opacity. So we're going to change the opacity of the top layer from 100 to 0 and we're going to change because this bottom layer see these uh, uh, graphics obviously have an alpha channel so um, we're going to be able to see through this top layer so we're going to also have to animate the opacity of the bottom layer on from 100 percent or sorry from 0 percent to 100 percent so I'm going to do that as well and uh, we have the top layer fading off and the bottom layer fading on uh, we can make this a little bit more seamless by kind of moving in these bottom keyframes. Uh, I'm also going to set these to Easy Ease Out and Easy Ease In for a little bit more organic of a move. Uh, let's see, we actually might want to move this up. Alright, so that's a little better. So we have a bit of a crossfade here right in the middle of the animation. So obviously that's a little noticeable, but now we're going to wind up with a seamless loop at the very beginning and end of our animation. So we preview our animation. 
And we're noticing now, once we get to the middle of the animation, uh, coming up right here, there's a little bit of a fade. And then once we get to the end and go back to the beginning, we have a seamless loop. You don't even notice a jump. So it's 100% seamless. You have a fully looping, seamless animation um, that you can render out and use as a self-contained file if you needed. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how uh, you create a, uh, a seamless loop. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Obviously, this one was uh, fairly basic, but you know, I like doing the um, you know more basic uh, uh, rudimentary uh, tutorials for those people who are starting out. And uh, I'm sure some of you will find this useful. Once again, thanks for watching. I'm Tyson France with Motion Revolver, and we'll see you next time.